Okay, so all I need for this project is um, some white paint, gray paint, sponge brushes, and just some angled brushes from the dollar store. Um, I need the sponge brushes because I'm probably going to do gray and white stripes where there's lines right there. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that was, look how bad this paint is. It's just really hard to work with. So what I did was I grabbed um, plaster of Paris and water, and warm water. I mixed it up so then you have this, this, and then I'm just gonna um, mix some of this white paint into it and hopefully that solves my problem and it'll be a lot easier to work with. This is all of the hardware. I'm going to use this spray paint on it because it's super hard to hand paint handles. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, last night I was probably painting the hutch until probably 2 o'clock in the morning, so it was really late. Um, if I sounded weird, it was because of that. Um, <laughs> I had my slippers on. Um, this part of the video, I'm just going to trying to answer any questions that you would maybe have after watching the time lapse of me painting the hutch. Um, so first things first, I bought this hutch for $35, which was a really good deal. Um, I didn't have to do any prep work on it. Um, you, of course, you want to wipe down your piece because there might have been like a spill or something that you didn't see, but once you start painting it, that will seep through your paint job and it'll look really gross. So it's just a lot easier to just wipe down your piece before you paint it. Um, I did two coats of the gray color and three coats of the white because as I said in the video, the white was, um, super, super hard to work with. Um, so what I did to fix that, um, I have had the white paint for a really long time, so it's probably just because it was old. Um, what you do if you want to make your own chalk paint at home, which would help if you have like a difficult paint or an old paint that you're working with. Um, you grab one third cup of um, plaster of Paris and then you dissolve it in one third cup of um, hot water. And then you add one cup of the paint that you're using and um, I just make really general measurements. I don't really 
measure it out at all actually um, because you can always add more plaster Paris or you can always add more water or whatever if you want to thicken it or thin it. Um, the colors that I was using w were um, from Glidden at Home Depot and it was gray hearth and antique white. Um, I really liked both of the colors. Um, gray is kind of tricky because it can sometimes have like a green or just like a weird tint to it, but I really like this color. Um, the spray paint that I was using is um, this Ace Brand spray paint, and it's in the color Ivory. Um, to finish all of my pieces, I um, either use polyurethane or polycrylic. Um, if you want like a really durable finish, use those, and if it's going to be, you know, not as high, like not a lot of people are going to be touching it, like a hutch, then you can use um, a wax to finish it off. I use um, this paste finishing wax from Min Wax. Um, it's in the color natural. And that's okay to use if you're not gonna have, if you don't want like a crisp white finish because it is a yellow wax. So if you don't buff it in very well or whatever, you can see it. Unless it's a colored paint that you're using, then you won't be able to see the wax. But um, I think that is everything. And thank you so much for watching my video.